Hello fellow Scorpios. How are you loves? Welcome back to your wellness tarot 777. We love you very much. Me and my guides and the Holy Spirit. Scorpio, uh, I'm going to be doing a reading about you and your person right here. Okay, so we can see where we are. Everybody wants to know and we don't know your perfect circumstances unless we do your personal reading. And usually the truth of the matter is, all of this is really about perfecting our own walk, the, our own attitudes and love, seeing how everybody is. What can we do to make things better? Can we make things better? Right? Scorpio, my loves, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node. I'm calling upon the Lord. I'm calling upon the holy angels to come in and help me to read for you, Scorpios, because you're very, very special. And I love you very much. Here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node. We're calling upon the divine white light. We're calling upon ascended master energies, the Holy Spirit, Christ. We're calling upon the angelics, your angels, my guides, um, ascended masters, earth angels, and healers to this particular reading. We are inviting more beauty into our lives, more love into our space, more love and more grace. To source be the glory because it shows on your face. Scorpio, here we go. Let's see how person number one and person number two, it could be either one of you. Let's see how we're doing. We have you, that person number one, they're not waiting around anymore. I think they saw everything they needed to see to do with their fortune and their relationships. This is karma. Maybe they thought it was karma and decided to hightail it out. They're not communicating with someone at this time. You are the other person. No movement, no communication. Yes, yeah, see, there's proof. Give me one more for this person. Moving on quietly. Maybe not even telling anybody. Just hitting the road. That could be you, the death card, and the king of cups. Okay? Let's take a look at this other person here now that you're dealing with. Let's take a look. We'll look at the cards in a moment. Let's take a look at the tarot. I'd like for you to tap me into Scorpio's person. Let me tell you what the scripture is for this. We're starting with James 4.10. And it says, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. We expect others to give us encouragement, to give us positive feedback, and sometimes we don't get it. Maybe our person doesn't give it to us or the person we're dealing with. Who are Who is Scorpio dealing with? This person is healing. They're taking time out. Four of Swords. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> they feel like it's the ending of a situation and they have to heal from it. They're not involved in it very much right now. They're holding back their energy at this time, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody you've known for a long time, Six of Cups in Reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They feel like it's too much of a bar. There's too much drama, mental drama between you two. Tell me about the Five of Swords in Reverse. That's conflict, competition, arguing, gossiping, backstabbing. This person wants to lie to you and tell you that they didn't gossip on you, but you know that they did. Tell me more. Yeah. They're going quiet so they don't lose you completely. All right? That's the truth. They don't want to lose you completely. Tell me why the tower is in reverse. Queen of Wands. In reverse. They think somebody or they did some something really wrong with the energy. The energy's in the upside down. And the Queen of Cups is here in the upside down. So they're not emotionally connected as well. They're not. Could be a Gemini. They're just not emotionally connected to you at this time. What is the energy between you? Let's see the energy between you two at this time. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing. If you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the all bell so you can get all my stuff. Also, you know what? All the notifications. Yeah. And those of you who ordered the Blue Lotus Love Oil, don't forget. We've got it in. We've got a bath salt, too, for soaking. When you're doing your love, you're doing your love manifestations or you're praying. It's beautiful for praying. 
um, you might consider the, the bath salts only $10. But the spray is a pure oil, so it's 20. But it's so, so, so gorgeous. Most of you know that, right? I love you very much, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon. What's the energy between you and this person here? Nobody's making an offer at this time. Somebody is deciding to stay single, but they're very productive. And they're connected to the Most High. They're connected to their higher power. They're connected to their finances. They're connected to their intuition. And that's the absolute truth. That's the truth. Now tell me why the sword is here. Because somebody doesn't want to work with this person. Don't want anything to do with them. Don't want a new start. Why? Put them in hangman. They hung around too long. It didn't do anything. A lot of introspection and no action. Pity parties. Somebody in a pity party. Yeah. Yeah. The world card wanted to end something anyway. It was bound to end anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somebody was too too had too much going on in the background to make this relationship even work, Scorpio. Yeah, and somebody did not trust their intuition. They should have trusted their intuition earlier. This Empress in Reverse. This is not somebody of authority. This is not somebody who would manifest with you. This was an Empress in Reverse. Could be a Cancer. <clears throat> And that cancer, or whoever that is, uh, Gemini cancer or Pisces, um, or yeah, who are, or even a fire sign, whoever they are, it was so bad between you. It was so uneven energy that you had to end it. They're not moving towards you. <clears throat> Why? They don't have any power in them to do so. Why? Queen of Coins. Maybe it's a spouse. Maybe it's a mother. Maybe it's somebody that makes money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They've fallen in love with somebody else. Or love is here. Tell me about it. Harfont, faith. So maybe there is a sep religious difference between you and there is no way to get back into it. Maybe so, Scorpio. I don't know. I don't know. Um, wow. That's pretty trippy, isn't it? You. This one here is soulmate. You and your soulmate are already in spirit. Believe that and now manifest. This one here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for their life. So they're full of in there. They're all up in their head. They've decided that they need to heal. But on the, on the other hand, they seem to be in this huge pity party, Scorpio. Do you understand what I mean? And so when they're in a pity party, there's no reasoning with them. There's no making it grow. Everything's about you're the victim. You're the victim, or I'm the victim, or I'm the victim. Right? The victim mentality is showing up. Spirit, is there any chance of this particular relationship I'm talking about coming back together? The Scorpios. If you're dealing, it's predominantly a Gemini. We also predominantly have Pisces. And we also have predominantly have Taurus, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. There's a habit here. Somebody's gotten smug. They've gotten smug. You broke up that relationship. It's a breakup. Soulmate breakup. There's heartbreak. There's Scorpio, the death card. What are you transmuting with it, though? Well, you're making sure that they're really blocked because obviously something they said or did was really, really bad. And somebody here is a healer and they need to be protect their energy from this. <clears throat> you know, some people put on a big show of being religious, yet they're, they're your biggest enemy. It's spiritual. They come at you with this fervency that you're supposed to be this, that, or the other. And they're so much better because they've cleaned up their act before God. Oh, my God, talk about judgment. Again, it's the Queen of Pentacles causing somebody to feel like they're left out in the cold and not communicating with them, leaving them up in their head, not telling them everything. There's love in the background with the lovers, but they're not coming forward with this. They're not offering anything. It could be family. They're not moving your direction. <clears throat> they're still trying to heal from this. No offers coming in, but there is this page of swords watching. They don't have their spiritual guard up. So no matter what comes at them, 
Will they be able to fix this? This is an emperor in reverse after a breakup, maybe a divorce. Could be another Scorpio as well. There's no hope here. And somebody's way, way up in their head because they allowed someone else to guide them away from you or to push them away or to pull them away. They allowed someone else's energy in on it. And you pulled your heart back from them. And you moved on quietly. And you said, I'm not doing any third party anything at all. I'm going to focus on my wealth. I'm going to focus on what I can do, what makes me happy. I'm going to focus on building my community. I'm going to focus on manifesting whatever I can. I'm going to focus on revitalizing my energy, whatever I can. I'm not going to focus on the past. I am an empress. That means I'm a builder and I've got something to create and a family. And I'm not going to give any attention to the past, the things that made me disappointed because God has given me a new path. It's going to bring me justice and liberty. And the devil is in reverse in the past because you're focusing on the Most High God. You're also trusting your inner, inner guidance, Scorpio, which is going to be your secret weapon. And you also have something to say to somebody if they come at you the wrong way, especially in devil energy, you're definitely not starting it with them because you know they did they weren't serious. They only stayed a little bit. You could not get victory with this person. This is total confirmation for somebody. If you want your own personal reading to see how your relationship turns out, according to my guides, I would love to help you. All right? I'm going a little deep on this. So the sun is out here, which means that there's healing in the element. But there'll be no going back to somebody who juggled you and seven of swords and has a reputation for gossip, backstabbing, and division. You're not giving them anything right now. But you are moving away. You are leaving so that you can focus on your own business, your own love, and find new love. <clears throat> That's going to burden them real heavy because they're trying to keep you in the dark. They don't have a lick of wisdom right now. This could be a Gemini. Mm-hmm. It could be. Yeah. That's what I have for this particular part of the reading. So, um, I don't know. You know, you have to tell me. Let me know in the comments if you relate to this. Say, yeah, oh, this this was my person. It doesn't have to be a Gemini. It could be anybody else. But let me know if that related to you because that's really strange. What kind of loving support can my collective Scorpios expect? This is a timeless reading. Scorpio, my darlings. Emperor. Someone who is up to par. Someone who is on your same page. Somebody who does care about the world, care about things being right. Somebody who has power. Somebody who is an authority. Somebody who is an emotionally mature and looking for you. Working on the same page with you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries. The offer is coming, Scorpio, from someone. And it's a small offer, which means that it's going to be someone who's going to be playing it safe. And that would be somebody who's a very familiar with red flags. <clears throat> uh, you got a brand new start. This could be a uh, Aries or somebody you start with. Tell me more about this. They come in with something. It, it, they take their time, though. Okay, so they take their time because they are an emperor. This is important. Leo, healing. This person comes in to heal you, Scorpio, to bring you something, something brand new. You're going to feel it in your heart. You're going to be grateful because it may be long term. There could also be money coming in for you from the government or from some source. Yes. Yes, there could be money coming in for you. Talk about a new love interest. I couldn't, I couldn't guess on that one if I tried. Ace of Cups, this is your new love interest showing up here. Scorpio, what else shows up for you? Rest and meditation, keep taking time out, resting, healing, doing the right thing, releasing your ex, releasing the energy related to your ex, seeking the angelic help, seeking self-acceptance, compassion, and forgiveness. Michael the Archangel says, trust in your higher purpose, my Scorpios. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you're on a path of growth. Who guides my beautiful Scorpios? Love and acceptance, hope, comes in for Scorpio in this reading. Love is yours, and the Holy Spirit comes in to help you make these moves that you need to make.
as the web weaver is here weaving this web for you in your heart. Synchronicities, divine intelligence, cause and effect. Angelic messages for Scorpio. Tell your truth at all times. 13th house. That's the death. What else do we have for Scorpio? Take a deep breath. Divine feminine Scorpios. You need it. Let's talk about and you need to work on your trust. So that is kind of what I have for you at the moment. Let's see. Loving yourself first and freeing yourself. Yeah. Those two things come up predominantly. And then conscious spirit. It's quite a well-rounded reading. Third, uh, third eye chakra. Tapping into your heart through your third eye chakra. Your inner wisdom. Your higher self. And applying that wisdom into your life. With the assistance of the support of the Holy Spirit. Your heart. The angels. Your self-love. Releasing the acts. Being in your big, beautiful heart and loving yourself first. Taking time to breathe. Meditate, right? Meditate, pray. So you can heal and get this new start, my beautiful Scorpios. This new love is you. And you come with a long-term contract. You meditate and pray for it. Tap into that third eye. You trust the Most High for it. You speak your truth at all times. And you trust in your divine purpose. An emperor is here seeing to it that you get your justice and you get your gifts. That's your reading. I hope you liked it. Let me know if I can help you in any way. Look in the box below for anything new. I appreciate you, my Scorpio loves. Um, there is one more um, scripture for you because I know that God came through. Let us run with perseverance. The race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the, pi the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Pioneer means the finisher and perfecter and finisher of our faith. Starting it. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Those are your readings. I love you. Thank you for liking the video, subscribing, hitting the all bell. Thank you for commenting and talking with me, my friends. I enjoy that very much. And if you feel this like you'd like to make a donation to the channel. I have a PayPal uh, and I have a Venmo for this channel and I have other links you can use too. Uh, just look down in the more box. I appreciate you so much, Scorpios. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Namaste.